Good evening and namaste. Welcome to day three of my 50 days to 50 challenge. I'm Dolly and tonight we're going to learn some yoga nighttime routines to help you have a better sleep. You may have had a stressful day, you know, or maybe you're just feeling very tired and sluggish but really can't help falling asleep. Um, you have, may have your own issues of why you have a hard time going to sleep. And if you've never done yoga, here are some simple poses that can help you just have a nice, calm, relaxing evening and kind of drift off into la la land. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we get the breathing pattern correct for this. With yoga breathing, you want to make sure you're inhaling through the nose, okay, and then softly exhale through the nose. And it's very simple to do. If you're used to exhaling through your mouth, that's okay if you want to start off with that, but slowly try to close your lips and then just try to breathe in and out through your nose. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to actually use this wall um, to do probably just the one pose that's necessary to do to help you relax in the evening. This yoga mat is going to act as our bed. So some of the poses after the wall pose is basically done on a yoga mat or you can do it right in bed because that's where you're going to fall asleep. So remember, these are calming, cooling poses and to not really heat you up or make you sweat. Even the breathing, you want to keep it nice and soft. So let's get started. This is our bed. We're just going to move off the bed for a little bit. Unless you have a very nice headboard that's comfortable enough you can do the same pose. This pose is called the legs up the wall pose. They got to come up with a shorter name for this. If you know what it is, let me know. And it's a bit of a challenge trying to get up there, but it's so worth it, especially at the end of the day. So what you want to try to do is if you're doing this against the wall is just come up close to the baseboard as much as you can. Bring your elbow down. Okay. And as you scooch your bum down, you're going to slowly, just use that one hand to hold down on the floor, slowly bring those legs up so your bum is touching right against the wall. Okay, and I hope you can still hear me from right here. It's all my hair. And what you want to do is just get into a relaxing position. So your legs are nice and straight. If you feel too much tension in the lower back and the hips, you can just scooch away from the wall Okay, and maybe bend the knees slightly. And you wanna stay in this pose for about two minutes. Some people can stay here and pretty much fall asleep five, 10 minutes if it's relaxing for you. So what this is doing is taking all the pressure off your legs, it's improving your circulation. If you stand in your job all day or even if you sit all day at a computer, this is a great pose to get the circulation going again and just release all the tension from your feet all the way down to your legs. So staying in this pose, practicing that inhale and exhale through the nose. And then when you're done this pose, getting out of it, you wanna do this slowly as well. So just bending the knees, okay? And we're gonna slowly start bringing those legs. Use the wall just to help you turn and then slowly coming up. So again, you can stay in that pose for about two minutes to 10 minutes if it's comfortable for you. The next pose that we're going to do is just uh, some side poses. A lot of times, you know, we're um, bending forward a lot, so our, our back doesn't really get a chance to go sideways. So we're very forward or backwards. So you're just gonna take your one hand, bring it down, and as you inhale through the nose, you're gonna lift that one arm up nice and slow, and then slowly start bending that other arm down. Exhale that breath. Now you may get this knee starting to come up, that's okay, but eventually you wanna to get to a point where you can really feel the stretch in between that leg and the side. And then slowly inhaling up, turning to the other side, exhale it down. Good, let's try that one more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. let's come back to center here. So at nighttime, you want to make sure your digestive tract is uh, comfortable and relaxed. So some twisting poses are great for that. You just want to place the one arm behind you, take that other hand, place it on the opposite knee, and then just do a gentle twist 
Okay, so you should really feel that slight twist over, not too much, again, we're not trying to sweat and heat up the body. This is just to cool the pose down with a light stretch. And you, when you take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale it out. Switching over to the other side, gentle twist, straighten out the spine, looking over just your shoulder. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale it out. Excellent. So if this is the bed for you, what you're going to do is come into the child pose now. A comfortable child pose, there's many different ways to do the child pose, but the one we're going to do is where you bring your feet together, you're going to open up the legs, just separating those knees, and then you're slowly going to crawl forward until your elbows touch the floor or the bed or the yoga mat. Okay, and then you can stretch out those arms to start, and this is a great stretch for the spine. And you just wanna bring that forehead down to the floor. Okay, and then just relaxing in this, stretching out the back. Again, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. So you can do, stay there for about two to five breaths if you like, or a little bit longer. As long as you're not feeling any kind of strain in your body and it's comfortable, you're okay to stay there for a while. Okay, so if this is your bed, you're going to lie down now and you're going to bring those knees in and you're gonna rock and roll very softly. So this is a great massage for the back. This is a great time to reflect on how your day was, things that made you happy. Yeah, some things that we found a little challenging. So just going through it and just letting go at this point. The day is over, you can relax, and then you can just inhale and exhale as you're doing this. And then the final pose is Savasana, which is just the corpse pose or the resting pose. And for this one, instead of having your feet together, you wanna just separate the legs, let those feet fall over, let your legs relax, relaxing the arms at the side. At this point, if you know you're gonna fall asleep, grab your blanket, cover yourself, and just lying here. Now the breathing pattern on this is gonna change slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me, as we were doing the inhale and exhale through the nose for the other poses, you're going to start off with the uh, cleansing pose, which is telling the body to, that we are ready to relax. So this one is basically inhale through the nose, four counts, inhale, gentle hold, and then you're going to exhale through your mouth. And that sound is very important. That's what helps your body relax. Okay, so you wanna not exaggerate it too much to the point that you're warming up, but just inhale, Doing this a few times and then going back to normal yoga breathing. Inhale, exhale through the nose and then just slowly drifting away to sleep. If you find thoughts are coming and going, that's okay. That's what the brain is doing. We're trying to help it relax. You can try closing your eyes at this point and just continue focusing on your breath. So I hope you find that helpful and you're able to have a good sleep. Um, this has helped me a lot. It has helped a lot of my clients. So very easy routine to do, a couple of poses. You don't wanna to get too strenuous with it at nighttime, but just keep it calm, let your thoughts go, and hopefully you'll have a great sleep. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night and namaste.